Hi, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial, I'm going to show you the simple effect to create this fake prism lens or bug eye looking effect. So I've got my example clip on the timeline, and this is really easy to do. We're just going to combine an effect and a mask. So in the effects panel, we're going to search for one called Replicate, and it should be in the Stylize Video folder. I'm going to click and drag that onto the clip, and by default, Replicate will split your video into four panels. You can also do more like so, but that kind of ruins the effect. I suppose two or three are doable, but with just this two by two, we're going to add a mask onto this effect. So you can do a circular mask, a four point polygon or pen tool your own, but basically a circle mask should work for most of the time. It's just gonna create a circle mask of that effect and then the original video clip shows underneath. But in this case, we actually want to invert that effect. We're kind of cutting a hole out of the effect back on to see the original clip. Use the mask ex expansion to make it about the right size to select my subject out. And then you just want to add enough feather so that all of these lines start to blur. So we kind of want to blur out these lines vertically and horizontally and the mask circular line and just play around with the feather and the expansion amount until you're happy with your result. You have a good blend of the four. And that's basically it you have now as you play the video. The original masked out video will play and then the four replications will kind of be there in the corner, creating this cool prism type of lens effect. If you wanted to be more tedious about removing these lines, if you really didn't like them, you could use the pen tool method and instead of just doing a square in the middle, you could kind of create like a pinched in star shape like this. Just making sure you get all those lines. And what this would do if we invert it is with enough feathering and a little bit of expansion maybe, you wouldn't be able to see lines at all it would be more like a star shape or much less lines would be apparent. So that's another option for you to do like kind of a pinched diamond effect. But that's basically this fake prism effect. Try it out on some cool clips of your own. It could be cool for music videos or just stylish shots. If you enjoyed this video, check out my other tutorials in the playlist on my channel and subscribe to stay tuned for all of my new videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.